Hello, my name is Prasad Piyayar. I'm working at the Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies, Sandia National Labs. Today, I'm presenting our work on learning incoherent light emission steering from metasurfaces using generated models. Spatial temporal control of incoherent emission is challenging. Typical incoherent emission sources like light bulbs or LED displays emit over a wide angular field of view and with randomized wavefront. This makes it incompatible with classic phased array steering, which have been developed for laser sources. If we can marry these two together, we can enable holographic LED displays and replace lasers with low power LEDs for remote sensing and high speed communications. Here we meet that enabled by a combination of structured optical pumping with structured materials. We pattern a light emitting device with sub wavelength optical resonators and shine a really strong structured pump on it to change the light emission of the device. This, uh, this structured pump effectively changes the material properties to enable us to direct the light emission from within the device to different directions. We have a photoluminescent steering setup. We load in this pump pattern on the strong pump into a spatial light modulator, which gets projected onto the sample. And we measure the light emission uh, over different angles. The emission we showed on our device goes from minus 40 degrees to plus 40 degrees, giving us an 80 degree field of view by changing the spa spatial light modulator's grating order. What that means is that I'm changing the spatial frequency of the sawtooth wave uh, from plus 100 to minus 100. And depending on that, you can see that we can change the direction of the light emission. This is essentially our forward model. And Typically, we want to solve the inverse problem where you want to shine uh, the PL towards you or any given angle. So here we make that happen with a combination of a generative model and an active learning loop. We train our uh, generative model, which is a variational autoencoder on a set of SLM images and show that uh, develop a model where the effective uh, local slope of the pump pattern from the BAE profiles, which is the orange curve, uh, goes far beyond the training set. And we get a lower dimensional representation of these images using this VAE. We leverage the Bayesian optimization of the active learning to improve the efficiency of the steering by a factor of 12 with respect to a sort of grating uh, for any given angle. And this uh, this factor of 12 was an interestingly trivial result where the uh, active learning figured out how to increase the average pump power of <laughs> hitting the metasurface such that more pump light gives you more uh, light emission. This first interesting result of physical significance that the machine learning learned. We built on this uh, to ask the uh, active learning to steer the light towards a particular angle by optimizing its directivity, which is signal at a steering angle divided by sum over all angles. And we can see that it generated a whole series of non-trivial beyond human intuition pump patterns with minimal experimentation. And this improved that directivity by a factor of four to nine over uh, different angles. In conclusion, uh, we've shown that unidirectional photoluminescent steering is achieved with a con combination of structured materials and structured optical pumping. Uh, a combination of Bayesian optimization and variational autoencoder enables us to learn new pump patterns beyond human intuition. And the closed loop AI accelerates our learning of this PL steering process with an order of magnitude improvement of results. With this, I'd like to conclude by thanking, acknowledging our funding agencies at CINT and the US Department of Energy Office of Science. With this, I'd like to thank everyone listening to this and have a good day.